and it is still dark outside we're hitting that time of the year where like you get up first thing in the morning and it's like still nighttime which is so sad i love waking up to the sunshine um but anyways this morning i'm just gonna i did a little bit of yoga i did my skincare and then i'm just gonna make some quick breakfast i'm gonna make some oatmeal i really felt like something warm and hearty i feel like because it's getting colder outside i'm feeling like having warmer breakfasts so i'm gonna make a quick oatmeal and then i'm going to start getting ready for work because i have to leave at around 9 30 but i'm hoping to also do some instagram content before then yes we are currently cramming in as much as we can into my timeline so yeah i'm just gonna quickly make breakfast and then get ready all right so this is my oatmeal i always make it pretty much the same way which is a quarter cup to half a cup of oats and then I just double the liquid. So in this case, I did half a cup of almond milk and then I just put some cinnamon in there. For sweetener, I um, typically put maple syrup, but I do that as a topping rather than like in the actual oatmeal. So I'm gonna let this boil, kind of simmer down a bit. And then I'll just put loads of toppings on and make it really hearty and um, filling. Okay, so it's not looking too appetizing, but I put frozen blueberries i love 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 putting frozen blueberries in my oatmeal it's so yummy and then i just have some cacao nibs over here and some chia seeds and of course a maple syrup all on top um and yes we love maple syrup here in canada not even afraid to admit that it's my favorite but yeah that's what i'm gonna have for breakfast it's small but it's really really filling so i'm just gonna go get myself ready now so right now i'm just sat on the floor i'm about to do some work this morning i pretty much spent the morning filming kind of organizing content um but now i have to edit a video just so that i can send it out to brand for them to approve um but i went down quickly and went for a walk to grab starbucks i got a croissant i know i'm sorry i need to like start venturing out and then i have been really really loving the chestnut praline latte i get it with half of the sweetener and then um almond milk and no whipped cream and it's just such a nice drink i don't find it overly sweet like some of the other holiday drinks um but that's what i've been getting and i really really love it i think i get it every christmas i think they come out with it every christmas um but yeah so the plan is right now i'm gonna do a little bit of work edit and then i have a couple of things to show you so i have a mango order that i want to open up with you i'm really angry to be honest because so this mango order was actually supposed to go in like a video that i filmed and it never arrived we actually thought that it had gotten lost and we had to call customer service and they're like you know what if it doesn't arrive by monday um you can either cancel it or we can resend it to you so that was really frustrating because i had to film this video by a certain date and the clothes never arrived so i had to kind of do something a little bit different which was really really sad um Hopefully the video is still good. Um, that's actually the video I'm working on right now. So that was really sad and kind of disappointing on Mango's side. Like it took really long and it was really confusing. Yeah, right now, um, something that I've been loving doing is putting on an audiobook uh, while I do work. So I'm listening, I'm almost done Difficult Women. Um, so I'm gonna finish that up while I listen. And that's why I had my, like, my AirPods in. <laughs> but I'm gonna do that while I do some work and then I will catch up with you guys later. just finished 
finished editing that video. So now I'm just gonna grab this mango box. Okay, so I've got my mango order here. My coffee. Like I had said, I was very disappointed with mango because this order got lost and then it wasn't lost and it just like randomly arrived at my building so I'm not really sure what happened honestly. So um what I don't even remember what I got. Okay so this Kind of order was meant to be very much um, loungewear focused, so a lot of loungewear, a lot of knitwear. So, let's see. yes, okay. So the first thing that I got was a knitted sweater. Is anyone surprised? Um, so this is just I guess a it's like a cable knit knitted sweater this one was okay this one was 79.09 and it was honestly quite feels really really nice the material is nice and soft although not the softest that i've had and i got it in an extra small so i just thought this with like cream trousers or honestly even the trousers i'm wearing right now would look really really nice and again it's comfy if you're at home working from home spending a lot of time at home it's still presentable so we like that <laughs> um yeah that one's really nice the next two things that i got is actually a matching kind of sweatsuit now i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this because i already do have the zara one and i ended up keeping the pants so we'll see um but unlike the zara one this one is a crew neck and joggers not a hoodie so i thought it could be nice So I got both in an extra small. So I'm pretty sure I got everything here in an extra small. The trousers may have been, yeah, they're a US size too. So these were the joggers. They just look like that. And they have no cuff at the bottom. They're just like a straight jogger. I feel like the length might be okay. And then the matching sweater looks like this. To be honest, I'm not crazy about the fabric for being $50. I think the quality of Zara was better. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to try that on and see how that feels on. It's not very soft. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I like my loungewear to be super, super soft. The last thing that I got was a pair of trousers. I love, love, love my trousers. So this is a color that I don't have yet. Oh yeah, these feel decent. So these are just a pair of like camel kind of khaki trousers. Again, I got these in a size US to UK size six. And they just are classic trousers, straight leg trouser. Those might be a little long. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of this on, give it a try on and see and kind of tell you guys how they fit, how I would style them. And if they're even worth keeping, honestly, I'm not too impressed the quality i typically love mango but um yeah i don't know I'm not crazy about it so maybe it's a good thing that it didn't show up for my haul um but yeah let's give this a try all right so here are the trousers and the kind of cable knit sweater i don't hate the sweater i think it fits really really nicely the material is nice i just don't know if it's worth almost $90. I think it was $79.90. Um, the trousers are a big no-no. One, they are way too small, so I would have to go up a full size. They're giving me like really bad camel toe here too. <laughs> Pockets are opening up. That typically is a sign that they don't fit. And again, this length is just really awkward, so I would definitely have to get them hemmed. So, I don't know. I think they're cute, but not... not for me. These are not a keeper. I won't be keeping the trousers for sure. So let me try... The jogger set okay this is much better really nice fit i love the length on these joggers i think they're perfect um although i'm not crazy about this pleat in the front 
I don't know, they just don't fit. I don't know. They're not fitting quite right. Um, this sweater is really cute. I love the sweater. Honestly, I might might consider this one. But pants are no, they just are doing some weird bunching here and I don't know. But I think it is a really cute set if you were to go for this set, which I think some of you would absolutely love. Pairing this with like a black blazer over top or a plaid blazer is really, really cute. For me though, knowing that I love like a warmer, cozier kind of loungewear pieces, I think this is not the set for me. It was very hard to tell online, but yeah, I unfortunately don't think I'll be keeping this either. All right, so I'm just about to head out to shoppers, so I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing. I changed my satin top for this kind of um, brown knitted sweater. I still have the same pants, they're wool, so they're nice and warm. Sneakers, I don't care if my ankles get cold, they're more comfortable than boots. <laughs> and then I've got my nice long coat on just because it's gonna be warmer than my other ones. And then I'm just wearing my Pauline purse in the burgundy color. I just thought it brought a nice pop of color, especially since I'm wearing like darker colors up top. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna grab my mask and get going. The sun is gonna set soon and I don't like walking in the dark. So yeah, let's go. All right, so we just got back um, while dinner is being made. I'm gonna sit and finish my episode of a Spanish princess, which I've been watching in like snippets. My nose is so red. It was so cold out, but I watched like 20 minutes last night and then 10 minutes earlier today, but I'm gonna sit down and finish the episode. I also got a Timmy's orange pico tea. Um, it's just it's the best. It was really cold. I forgot mitts, so I picked up a tea on the way back, so it was like a little hand warmer. Um, it's now like the perfect temperature because it was that cold outside, but yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna sit and watch my episode and then do some more work later on. got out of the shower I cleansed my skin using this skin fix um, barrier foaming oil cleanser this is the best cleanser I've ever used at least up until today um, couldn't recommend it enough it's vegan and cruelty free it is an oil cleanser which is great because that means it's gonna take off your SPF and any other makeup you may have I couldn't recommend this enough I will link it down below because it's amazing <laughs> um, but now I'm just gonna do the rest of my skincare so what I always start with is this Ren Clean Skin Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. It has just been amazing. When I first started using this, I used to use it morning and night. And initially it made my skin really red um, just because it is like an AHA. Now I have gone down to just using it at night. Um, and with this product, you really have to use SPF during the day. That's why I found that at night, so I don't have to worry about any sun damage. And it is a pretty strong product. That's why for me, it works best just at night. And while that is drying, I will use the Glossier Bubble Wrap. This is what I use under my eyes. I love it. It just feels so, so hydrating. And then for my serum, I have been using the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is the Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex. It is just supposed to do lots of lovely things for your skin. So I use two to three drops of that. And any leftover, I will just pat on my neck and on the top of my hands. Now, um, the moisturizer that I love is the Clinique Moisture Surge. I am running out of this one. I actually got, I ordered this one from Sephora, so I'm waiting on my new one, but I was recently sent this um, Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream from Ren Skincare. So I've been trying that out and so far I really, really like it. It is a nice, hydrating balm um 
I personally prefer to use thicker moisturizers at night and then in the morning when I'm doing my makeup, something a little bit lighter so the Clinique Moisture Surge is perfect because it's more of a gel. But this one, as you can see, it's quite thick. Um, so far, I've really liked it. I've only used it for a few nights, but I really love how bright and moisturize my face feels in the morning after I've used this. Now with this, I love to bring it down. I grab a little bit more and actually put it on my neck and the like remainder, I put it on the top of my hands. Your hands are the first place to show aging. <laughs> so yeah, so again, that was the Overnight Glow Dark Spots Sleeping Cream. Looks like this. So far, I really like it. I love the smell. I love Ren skincare. It's the same brand as my toner. Um, and I honestly couldn't recommend it enough. The last thing I do for my skincare is my lip balm, but I typically put that on right before bed because I keep it in my nightstand. And for that, I always, always use my Glossier Balm.com. Nothing compares to Glossier. I find that a lot of lip balms, just you put it on and in like 30 minutes, it's gone. Glossier, I will put it on before bed and I will literally wake up with like a fresh, like a, like a full layer of the lip balm still on my lips. So that's why I love Glossier and sometimes I just don't want a scent in my lip balms and the fact that Glossier has their like original balm.com that has no scent, no flavor, no nothing, it's perfect for bedtime because I don't want to be tasting cherry or cucumber when I go to bed. I don't know. <laughs> That's just me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna now get into jammies. I have a little bit more work to do um, to kind of prep for tomorrow. And then hopefully I won't get into bed too, too late because I do have to be up early tomorrow. But yeah, that's the plan. Hello, it is a new day. Um, right now I'm going out. I have to return a coffee table book at Indigo and then I have to pick up um, an order from Sephora. I just had to order a few things. So I have to pick it up at the store in the mall. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing. Wasn't feeling the greatest today, so I wanted something really comfy. I'm wearing my Holland Cooper. Um, I think this is a Greenwich cable knit sweater, and then my Zara trousers, and then just my white sneakers. And then I'm gonna just put my Plaza coat on top, and that's what I'm wearing today. Nice and cozy, but also just comfy. <laughs> Coffee in hand. home now I've actually been home for a little while now um, so we ended up going out I had a little bit of story time here I ended up finding a beautiful coffee table book which I will show you in my next vlog I'm gonna do a little bit of a home kind of haul in next vlog but I bought a coffee table book at indigo chapters and I bought it in store so it was I believe 90 90 dollars around there almost 100 and that same night I was looking for kind of um, Christmas decor, holiday decor and I noticed that the same coffee table book that I had bought in store was $56 so pretty much it was a half price online and I ended up calling customer service and just asking like what the difference was and they just said that I guess Indigo slash Chapters has a lot of like exclusive online sales and for some reason because of the extra costs that stores have to take in um those sales don't happen in store so i was like it's a little weird so anyways i ended up having to return the one i bought in store and then i just purchased a new one online and i think from now on i'm always going to check online first before i even buy anything in store because that's a little ridiculous that you can get something 50 percent off just because you're buying it online so that was that i also had to pick up um a couple items at sephora so i had i feel like i've had the worst luck with packages recently i had ordered some stuff from the vib sale 
and essentially the package never arrived so it was said that it had arrived on the 14th on a saturday and it never did um which is really really odd i've never experienced anything like that with sephora so um i ended up calling customer service they were phenomenal like they resolved it instantly they didn't even ask questions they're like okay like we're gonna get that shipped out to you again um but unfortunately one of the items was not available i guess at their warehouse so i did have to go in store and pick it up and it was just they reserved it for me so i just had to walk in and say hi i'm picking up whatever whatever so yeah so i did that and then we just picked up a coffee and then we came home really just kind of short trip just to kind of do stuff that we needed to do but now that i'm home i want to sit down and show you some new bits that i have gotten so i want to show you the Sephora stuff that I picked up as well as some Holland Cooper stuff um, that was really kindly sent to me, um, which is really exciting. I've, I'm wearing my Holland Cooper uh, cable knit sweater right now and so many of you loved it and honestly, I love it myself too. Like, I just, it is the coziest sweater and honestly, it is so warm. At this point, I have become very familiar with what sweaters are actually warm when it comes to being outside and um, typically they have to be very thick very heavy and like a good material so whether it be like a merino wool a wool a cashmere and this one it is so warm so so warm it actually keeps you incredibly warm which i really really appreciate um yeah so anyways i'm gonna sit down with you and show you everything that i've kind of gotten in right now so I feel like this is a good spot to kind of chat with you about the things that I've been buying. So the first kind of pile that I have is all the things from Sephora. A lot of these things were honestly repurchases just to kind of refill the things that I was running out of. Um, so the first thing that I got was my Clinique moisturizer. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I love this moisturizer. It is, I think, just phenomenal. It's not the type of moisturizer that leaves your skin feeling greasy. So as soon as you put this moisturizer on, it sinks in. It leaves you with a kind of smooth surface. So I especially love to use this in the mornings before I'm applying my makeup because I find it leaves a really nice base. So anyways, yeah, that was the first thing that I picked up because I am almost out of my, of my moisturizer. The next thing I picked up is actually not from me, it's for my mom, um, but this is the uh, Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser. I know I talked about my my own one in, I think earlier in this vlog, yeah, earlier in this vlog. And um, she tried mine out when I got it and she loved it as well. She has um, recently been struggling a lot with her skin um, and I don't think she's had a, like a, a cleanser that she really loves, so I picked one up for her since she loved it. Um, again, this is really great because it's got no scents. It's going to take off your SPF, your makeup. It's just, honestly, I love it. I love it so much. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to give it this. And then the other two things that I bought were, again, really small. But this is the L'Occitane. L'Occitane? Please, someone help me with that pronunciation. But this is their hand cream. This is one of my favorite hand creams. Um... That I have ever tried. I'm very picky with hand lotion because I don't love my hand lotion to be greasy in any way. So this one I love because the moment you put this on, it just completely dries down um, to the point where it's not greasy. Your hands just feel normal, but it's extremely hydrating. So it, you actually feel like your hands are being moisturized, but without the greasiness. The other thing I love about this particular one, this is the hand and nail care. Um, so it looks like this. So this one is going to be um, kind of, it's got an almond scent to it, which I really like because it's not overly sweet, but it's still kind of clean um, and just really nice. And then again, it's that hand and nail care. So it's going to be really great for your cuticles and your hands just to keep them really moisturized. The last thing I got, and I don't know, I was a little skeptical on this one, but this is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in vanilla. I know we have all seen this up and down, but I needed to really understand if this was worth it because it was quite pricey. Um, I am wearing it right now and it is, it's nice, it feels nice. It's very similar to the Glossier one. Um, it does have a little, like a slight vanilla scent, no flavor, but scent, <laughs> um, to it. And it is nice and thick like the Glossier one. The other thing I like about it is that it does give you a really nice shine and gloss to your lips which sometimes the Glossier ones don't. Um, so far, I like it. Um, is it worth the price? I don't know. I feel like the Glossier ones are a little bit cheaper and kind of the same. 
I don't know. But I'm gonna give this, kind of keep giving it a try and see how that works out. The last thing I got, which was just with my points, and I still love to talk to you about samples because I think samples are they're still using the product, but um, I picked up by accident, but still. This is the Amika Fade Block Pre-Shampoo Color Seal. So I accidentally got this. I meant to pick up the Amika Flash Instant Shine Mask. So I have previously been using this mask in the shower and I love it. I really, really have enjoyed using it. I love the scent. The scent is just phenomenal. Like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> so, um, that's what I thought I was picking up and when I got home I realized that it was a fade block so this is to be used to kind of prevent your hair from losing its color um, too quickly so you know what that's interesting I'm actually kind of glad that I, I did get it I, since I did just get my color redone on my hair I think it's gonna be a great chance to try this out but if you guys are kind of shopping around for a mask to use in the shower for your hair, um, I really do like the Amika one. And this one actually replaces your conditioner. So when I use this, I don't use conditioner. And recently I've been using it every single time I wash my hair and I really like it. So I'm going to try the color block or the fade block to see how that kind of um, goes on with my hair. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so on to Holland Cooper. I have just fallen in love with Holland Cooper. I think it has been one of my favorite discoveries this year and I just honestly couldn't. I just, I love it. So the first thing that was really kindly sent to me was this, I will leave all the names of the items in the description box with a link that'll take you to the site so you can kind of shop around for everything. Um, but this is a classic roll neck turtleneck and um, it's got beautiful button detailing on the shoulder as well as kind of along the wrist, which is so beautiful. I actually wore this yesterday and um, for a little bit and it was such a beautiful top. The material is again, it's a little bit thicker, which is really nice. Um, but for being a black roll neck, having that really beautiful gold detailing, I feel like just elevates um, such a, a, really, a really simple top. The next thing I got, and this is great for the winter, um, is this cute little hat. I'm gonna put it on for you, just so you can see. Oh, guys, I just think this is the cutest thing ever. I love it. Um, I'm typically not a logos gal, but I honestly love this. I feel like, I don't know why I love it. I just, I think it's so cute. <laughs> Um, when and if I wear hats in the winter, this is always the style I go for. I love that pom-pom look and I also love to go for an either knitted or wool material for the actual hat portion. The next piece that I got, which I'm really excited about, is this beautiful um, puff coat. Um, I have tried it on and I got it in an extra small and it is just gorgeous. So. This is the coat here, and it's got a beautiful Holland Cooper um, belt to it. It's got a very, very luxurious faux fur um, hood. Um, and then again, you've got just beautiful Holland Cooper kind of a detailings all throughout the coat. I think it's so, so beautiful. The detailing on these items are just phenomenal, and I think it's just something that the quality keeps impressing me. So. Yeah, I will have to give those a try and tell you more about them. I will definitely give these items a try. Um, and maybe not in today's vlog, in this vlog, but you'll definitely see them on my Instagram at some point because I just think these pieces are gorgeous. <laughs> I really, really love them. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the new in pieces that I've had. And I think a lot of these, things like the hat, are great Christmas gifts that you can give to family members. And they're really, really beautiful and just classic. I think anyone would love a piece from Holland Cooper, I know, I know I would. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of chat with you a little bit and show you those new in pieces that I've been receiving. And then in the next vlog, I will do more of like a home focused, a um, little bit of a haul unboxing, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was just kind of a little bit of everything. So that's enough of that. Let me sit down for a little bit. Oh, so. 
Um, today, and I think this past week, has been a little overwhelming, I think, on my end. I think it's so easy on social media to pretend like everything is perfect and easy. And I never want to, I think, be the person that is always perfect and in great condition because that's not the reality. You know, we're all humans. We're all going through different things. And I think it's really important to me to always be honest with you guys. And honestly, I have had a lot on my plate and I think I've always been the type to want to do everything and I think obviously as I get older it's something that I've had to learn to um, deal with and understanding that sometimes you can't do everything and you have to be very smart and sit down with yourself and choose what it is that you really want and really start to prioritize everything that you have so I think for me you know working in retail um, full-time school and of course YouTube um, I've really had to sit down with myself and I think be realistic with what I can do I think when I started this year I was so full I was so determined to do two, two videos a week and I think it's become very evident that I just I cannot do it and I've tried very very hard to do it consistently and it's just there are days like yesterday where I unfortunately had to do school for the whole day and you know or there's days where I have to work the whole day from um, like nine to six um, and that's just that's just life that's always gonna happen no matter who you are where you are so um, I'm just trying to make the best of it but still while doing all of that making sure that I'm taking care of myself and so I think tonight as much as I do have work to do later um, it's only about four o'clock I do have, a, I do want to write a blog post later and do some assignments later. I think I need to just take a few hours and honestly do absolutely nothing. Stay off social media, um, do whatever it is that I need to do, whether it's honestly take a nap, read a book, listen to an audiobook, or just watch Netflix. I need it. And I think sometimes we all need those moments to just recharge our batteries. And they don't have to be a full day. They don't necessarily mean we need a, a weekend away to recharge our batteries. Sometimes it's just about those few hours to just kind of take care of ourselves. And so that's what I'm going to do tonight because I think it's been um, a really heavy week for me, content-wise, editing-wise, school-wise work-wise just everything has i think has been like stacking up and i don't mean to be dramatic i think there are people going through worse things in life um but it doesn't mean we can diminish um the things that everyone is going through so um yeah that's the plan i think i am just gonna take care of myself i'm gonna make a tea i'm gonna put my candles on and just take a moment to relax and i think if you're watching this and you are feeling overwhelmed and stressed this is a sign so go take that moment to yourself go take that moment and take care of yourself because i think we all need those moments sometimes so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna clean up everything that i just left on the floor there <laughs> from showing you um but yeah that's the plan for tonight and then for dinner i'm just gonna have nothing too big probably something a little bit healthy i'm gonna hopefully have a nice hearty meal tonight get into bed nice and early and just have a really good day tomorrow tomorrow is friday um so you'll probably be seeing this vlog then so yeah that is the plan for tonight um yeah i will catch up with you guys in a little bit it is currently nine o'clock and i'm just sat here doing some work we've had dinner i made just some ramen that i got at the grocery store um, so not the healthiest, <laughs> but I felt like something warm. Um, I also got groceries for tomorrow, so I got um, just the usual for me, loads of little veggies. But right now I am going to, one, work on an assignment to get that done and submitted, and then two, I am going to finish editing this vlog, that way it's ready to go. And two, I'm going to finish editing this vlog, that way it is ready to go for tomorrow morning. And then the last thing I have to do is just finish writing a blog post, which is like going to be the first blog post in some time. But I'm going to finish writing a blog post that way you guys will kind of have an idea of things that you could purchase um, during the Aritzia Black Friday sale slash kind of clientele sale. I know a few of you were asking me like what pieces um, would be kind of worth 
keeping an eye out for and purchasing so I think I'm gonna make a quick rundown of my favorite pieces that I think are really worth the money um, at Aritzia and I know it can be a little bit overwhelming <laughs> because there's so much on Aritzia I think they not only have I think really good quality items but they have a variety so they have TNA and then you have Wilfred, Babaton, Sunday Best and there's I think the quality is different in all of them and same with the price points so sorry if you, the background is really loud that's the laundry <laughs> um so with that in mind i think making a, a little list of things that are worthwhile i think will make it easier to shop so that's my task for tonight it's nine o'clock i'm hoping that by 11 30 it should all be done and then i'm gonna self tan tonight that way by tomorrow morning i'm golden because i'm looking very pale um i have had a lot of eczema breakouts to be honest i'm not sure if it's eczema or perhaps psoriasis which i'm hoping it's not but I've had a lot of really weird breakouts, so I, I stopped self-tanning for a bit, um, but I, I can't stand looking this pale, so I'm gonna self-tan today. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna get to work. Um, that way I can get all my stuff done tonight. just about to wrap everything up and get into bed i am going to do my skincare and i'm going to also do a fresh layer of tan i'm going to use saint tropez that's what i always use for my self tanner i'll link the one i use in the description box but yeah but yes so i'm gonna say good night and i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.